Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is give us a minute we are updating app. It should be ready to use again shortly. So if you're receiving this message whenever you try to open any Microsoft application on your computer, so it might be happening with Microsoft Edge or Photos app or Windows Security or any game. So if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps, so at the end of each step, you can go ahead and check the application. Still you're facing the problem, then move on to the next step. The first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store, then on the top right, here you can see the profile icon, click on it, and then click on sign out, and then click on the profile icon once again, then click on sign in, select your account, then click on continue, enter the pin or password, and then try to run the application once again. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and update the store apps. To update the store apps, open Microsoft Store once again. On the top right here, you can see the three dots, click on it, then click on download and updates. And then click on get updates. And once this is done, you can go ahead and try to launch the application once again. The next step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. To run the troubleshooter, go to the start menu, then click on the settings and then go to update and security then go to troubleshoot then click on additional troubleshooter scroll down and here you can see windows store apps then click on run the troubleshooter and once this is done you can go ahead and try to launch the application the next step is to reset store cache using this ws reset command so copy this ws reset you can or you can simply type in ws reset in windows search box and then make a right click on ws reset then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and here you will see the black screen window do not close this black screen we have to wait for this black screen to go away so this may take some time so wait till this black screen goes away now once this is gone microsoft store will open up now here you can see the Microsoft Store is open now and now you can go ahead and try to launch the application. Now still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and reset the application with which you are receiving this message. Now in case if you are receiving this message with any particular game then after the reset you have to re-download the game. So you will lose all the game data, you will lose all the download file so you have to go ahead and re-download the game once again. Now to reset the application or game, go to the start menu, then click on settings, go to apps and then find the application with which you are receiving that message. So for example, if you are receiving this message with photos, with Microsoft photos, this is just an example, then click on, click on it, then click on advanced option, scroll down and here you can see the reset option. So click on reset and here you can see this will permanently delete the app's data on this device including your preferences and sign-in detail. Then click on reset and once this is done you can try to launch the application once again and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now the next step is to re-register store. Now to re-register store open PowerShell so make a right click on the start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell and that has to be admin. So click on Windows PowerShell admin and then click on yes to allow copy the command the command is provided in the video description and then paste it on the powershell window and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and once this is done run the second command and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and once this is done restart your computer and then try to launch the application now still you are facing the problem then run this scan that is sfc and dism command so the commands are provided in the video description. So open PowerShell once again, make a right click on the start menu, then click on Windows PowerShell admin, and then click on yes to allow, and then paste the command, hit the enter key on the keyboard, and this will go ahead and start the scan. Now once the scan is 100%, run the second command. So open the PowerShell window once again and run the second command. Once the first, first scan is complete, run the second command. And once this scan is 100%, you restart your computer and then try to launch the application or game with which you are receiving that error message. So let it be 100% and then restart your computer once this is 100%. Now the next step is to update Windows 10. To update Windows 10, go to the start menu, then click on settings, 
go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is completed click on install now and once the installation is done restart your computer and then try to launch the game or try to launch the application now the next step is to restart microsoft install service so go to the windows search box and go ahead and type in services in windows search and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator on services app and then find microsoft over here you will find microsoft store microsoft store install service so make a double click on microsoft store install service and then make sure startup type is set to automatic and if start is highlighted click on start then click on apply ok and then make a right click on microsoft store install service then click on restart and then you can go ahead and try to launch the application now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall and reinstall store to uninstall store you can go ahead and open powershell so make a right click on the start menu then click on windows powershell admin then click on yes to allow and then copy this command and then paste it on the powershell window and then hit the enter key now right now i'll show you right now i will open the store so the store is open now now once i run this command the store will be gone so here you can see the store is gone so if i try to open store it will not open up it's not opening up now after this you go ahead and restart your computer so go to the start menu and then click on the power icon and then click on restart and after the system restart you go ahead and run this command which will go ahead and reinstall the store on your computer so open powershell once again make a right click then click on windows powershell admin then click on yes to allow and then paste the command and then hit the enter key and it will go ahead and reinstall the store and now let's open the store once again so it may take a couple of seconds for for it to come up now click on microsoft store and it's opening now so after the reinstallation you can go ahead and try to use the application launch the application that should go ahead and fix the problem but still nothing is working the last step is to update windows 10 using media creation tool if nothing is working you can go ahead and use this tool microsoft tool to update your windows 10 to the latest version so open this link in a browser and then click on download tool now now once the download is complete a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file and then you will see this screen agree to the terms then click on accept then by default the option to upgrade this pc now will be selected so click on next and it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update do not worry about the data loss because before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked by default now once this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is done log into your computer and that should go ahead and fix this message so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this message so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel